Children are entities of unceasing wonder, creativity, blind trust, and epic ignorance, and in this world are the most vulnerable, yet the most valuable. While we see them for their potential, we try not to conceive the idea that most of them, 9 out of 10, become lifeless conformists, or dopes, enshrouded in the bigotry of society. The question, where do people get their morality from, enters the minds of most religious and even non-religious groups. Each provide answers based on their fundamental class of beliefs. Both modern religious and non-religious groups claim to inspire open-mindedness in schools. But is that really the case? Religion, whether Muslim or Christian, claims that they teach their children to be open-minded. In order to test this validity, we must understand how they teach. In these so-called faith schools, children are taught both science and their foundational religion. Rather than teach the children to value both sides, they teach their children that, quote, science is insignificant, implying that the children learn science to a minuscule degree. However, we will focus on our religion to be the undeniable truth. The living legend, Richard Hawkins, investigated this case as he visited a Muslim country. There he asked the children if any of them believed in evolution. The children replied, if we are apes, why are there still apes around, clearly showing their lack of critical understanding. A, ch a girl replied that their religion referred to the Quran as, as having scientific answers well before science discovered them. She continued on saying that the mountains were there to protect the earth and that the water and that clear water and salt water do not mix. What most appalls me is the nerve of their mentors to teach their students that their religious book provides better science than science itself. It's clear that when religious schools say, we teach students to be open-minded, that they forget to include my religion only. Doesn't it seem odd that nearly all the students that attend each particular faith claim their faith to be the one and only true faith? However, how children are taught helps us understand where our morality comes from. Religion claims that human morality comes from the word of their gods, such as the Bible or the Quran. But why then do they pick or and choose? among the contrasting arguments. What gives them the notion to say this is taken literally while this is not? If morality comes directly from the book such as the Bible, why don't Christians kill those who work on the Sabbath day? Some say because it isn't taken literally, but it is simply because the original law appears unfit for modern lifestyles. Dawkins stated that if religion can pick and choose from their religious books, then this mechanism is how everyone gets their morality regardless of being religious or non-religious. In order to pick and choose, one must have a prerequisite understanding of knowledge. It is simply a scapegoat to say we teach children to be open-minded and then stress that our religion is the one and true religion because as children, they are helpless as they have not this built-in prerequisite of empirical knowledge and are thus deluded under false claims. I therefore agree with Richard Dawkins. Faith schools should be eliminated entirely because by principle, a school that teaches faith is a school that teaches faith to the school's faith. Thank you.